Hi, this is Robert, and I believe I found the issue with the uh, F6 amplifier. It was just a dumb mistake. I evidently was quite tired when I was wiring up the rectifier boards. But anyway, you can hear it in the uh, previous video. You'll hear me mention that I have the uh, one set of wires going to the left channel, one set of wires going to the right channel, and that's not how it goes, actually, uh, because they're, uh, you have to have a separate winding for the positive supplies and a separate winding for the negative supplies. And that was the issue, I believe. Anyway, we're going to fire up the... Uh, Variac here and see if we get any voltage over half a volt. Now hopefully I haven't stressed the uh, rectifiers out too much. But anyway, all it took was just a little bit of uh, juggling the uh, secondary wires here on the terminal strip. I had to move it physically in a row just to give myself some slack. But you can see it doesn't look too... Uh, fussy down there. So we're going to see what happens. Let's look at our uh, meters. Oh yes, we're already over a volt. Nothing's humming, nothing's lighting up. Gee, almost like I know what I'm doing. But you can see so far, nice, very dim bulb. So dim, it's ridiculous. So if I've got this calculated right, we should go all the way up to 24 volts. I've got a, I'm on the uh, positive supply for both the uh, left channel power board and the right channel power board. So, so far, we're halfway there. No explosions, no smoke, no smells. Yeah, so basically I did a silly thing. And I guess I can blame the heat and everything. Oh, it looks like we're only going to go to about 22, 23. Yep, we made 24. Just just before the 100% on the Variac. So now let's double check. That's plus 24. Here's the minus side. Minus 24. Always a good thing. Let's check the left channel board here. And it has a minus 24 as well. So that's working. Are my, yes, the LEDs are lit down there. Yes, all right. I think that does it. So what I'm going to do is just leave this powered up for a while. So if uh, there is a uh, rectifier that got stressed by my uh, uh, miswiring, uh, I want to give it a chance to fail before I hook up the, the actual lamp boards. So we're going to take it down to just 24 there. Anyway, uh, that's about that. I'm relieved <laughs> that it wasn't anything major. I had the uh, both of the rectifier boards out, and I did find a stray strand of uh, wire uh, from when I was stripping wires that somehow got in there. But other than that, uh, nothing too horrible. So uh, that will do it. I just wanted to get this out there in case someone was following my directions. I didn't want to misinform you. But anyway, if you look... Uh, I have a very bad diagram here, and basically what I had done is you have the two 18-volt uh, secondary windings coming out of the uh, transformer, 
And what I had done is for each channel, I'd hooked both rectifiers, uh, the positive supply and the negative supply, both to one winding, which gives you a very, at uh, one point, where is it? You go through here to there, but it's a very, it's close. To, it's not quite as short, but it's getting there. And anyway, what it should look like is more like this, where you have a, uh, one winding is the positive supply for both channels. One winding is the negative supply for both channels. And then you go on to the power board, plus, minus, and then the center grounds are tied together. And that's it. But it took me a while. I, I uh, was researching, uh, making sure I had the right variant of the Schottky rectifiers. They had a G suffix, and I had to make sure that that wasn't some uh, alternate pinout. It wasn't, thank God. But anyway, we're very close to Nelson Pass's power supply, if you look. Here's the 120 volt. Here's the two 18 volt secondaries. And they each have a rectifier, in this case a bo rectifier board, and the filter caps. And then we've got the thermistors feeding it here on the input. And uh, the, this one doesn't show, there it is, there's the uh, thermistor on the circuit ground. I'm taking mine from the opposite side of the board. It, they're coming more off here. But it's all connected. It's all one big LAN, so I don't think it should uh, hurt things too much. Anyway, that's where we're at right now. And uh, again, I appreciate you watching. Uh, please like and subscribe if this is your first time. If you find this stuff interesting, I really appreciate you watching. Anyway, you have a good evening. We'll see you later. Bye.